Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at how to disable high definition copyright protection via your AMD driver. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at how to disable HDCP or high definition content protection on your AMD driver within Windows 10 or Windows 11 and using the latest Adrenaline driver. Now for some people you'll be doing this because either you're having issues with capturing or streaming or just some form of copyright protection. There's various ways you can get around it. There's a software way, which we'll be showing you very shortly. And towards the end of the video, we'll also be showing you a hardware option, which uh, may be beneficial to those of you that the software version just simply won't work for. Anyway, with that said, let's get straight into it. So you're gonna to wanna to install the latest AMD drivers for your graphics card. And we've got the latest one installed already, and you probably find that you've got the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition logo down in the bottom right-hand corner here. If not, generally on your desktop, you right-click and choose Show More Options. You'll see here we've got the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, which you can just click on to open up. Now, normally, when you first go into this, you'll be in this section here, the Home section, and you can see all your general settings. What we're going to want to do is to head over to the right-hand side, and you've got the settings cog, so click on the settings cog, and this is gonna give you a second bunch of tabs. So you've got your tabs at the top, you've got home gaming, record stream, performance, etc. You're not gonna find the setting in there, so you do need to click on the settings cog to gain access to this secondary tab. Once you've done that, obviously you can check, make sure that you're on a similar version to the software we're using. So we're on 22.3.1, obviously depending when you're doing this, your version may be slightly different. We're actually recording this on the 4th of the 4th, 2022. This is a slightly older version. There is actually a newer version available, I believe, but it's somewhat of a beta version or like a trial version. So this is the latest stable version. Anyway, with that said, next we want to do is click on our display tab here at the top, and then you'll find you've got all these settings here. Now, the one we're actually looking for is overrides. So you can click on it from here. Another way of finding it, if uh, you're struggling or they change it in the software, if you just type in the top here, override, then it will find it for you. You can just click on overrides display setting and it will bring you to this exact same place. So when we're in the override section here, what you'll do is click on overrides and then you'll get these extra items come up. Now, if you've not gone into this before, you'll probably find that you'll get a message come up saying that you need to agree to the terms and conditions. And basically it is AMD's way of just saying, right, this is your choice, not ours. We recommend you leave these settings alone, but if you want to change them, click okay. So click okay, and then you'll get this option. And literally it's as simple as this. We've got HDCP support. And if you click on the, or roll over the question mark, it will show you what it does. So it's control support for the high bandwidth digital content protection standard. So obviously enabled turns on protection. If you turn it off, you'll get this message come up saying warning, disabling HDCP support will also disable HDMI link assurance and protected content playback. So obviously depending on what it is you're trying to actually achieve, this may make things actually worse. But in general, this is the way to go forward. So if you're sure you want to continue, click on proceed and then It'll say HDCP changes will take effect after the next system restart, and you've got the option to restart now. So restart your computer, try your streaming or your capture, and you may find this absolutely fine. Now, if this doesn't work for you, there is an alternative option, and that is if we go over to Amazon, I'll put links for this in the video description. What you want to do is search in Amazon, just put in HDCP bypass. Now, you don't have to search because obviously we'll put some links in the video description, but what you're looking for is a splitter so this is an hdmi splitter basically it's one in two out that's what you want so one in two out so this is basically splitting your hdmi signal into effectively what would be two monitors so you can connect up your monitor actually to one device and you can connect up your capture card to the other one and just make sure that it does say hdcp bypass because that's what you're trying to achieve these are relatively inexpensive 15 pounds or so obviously prices will differ depending on your region, but this is definitely worth a look if you're still struggling with the other option in software. So there we go, there's a couple of options for disabling or kind of getting round HDCP bypass. It can be problematic, especially if you're trying to capture certain types of content. There is gonna be certain types of content which you just simply can't do. So like if you go into uh, Prime Video, for example, and you've got something on the screen and you want to do a screenshot and you do the Windows Shift and S, 
and then you try and capture a section of the screen, generally that's just going to come out as a black box if you try and paste it into another application or copy it. So there are still going to be limitations actually built into some content providers. Content, yeah, anyway, you get the general idea. I've witted on way too long, but hopefully this is going to be helpful to some of you. If it is, please smash that like button. And if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit that subscribe button, hit the chime notification, and we'll be in your daily feed. So that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.